Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin. If you're meeting me for the first time, and uh, well, sorry, I'm, you can't see my face, but uh, today we're just focusing on the Black Magic Podcast Cinema Camera 6K and the accessories that come with it. In my case, I got a promotion, so I'm going to show you all that. And um, yeah, is this camera still relevant in 2021? Definitely yes. Even the Pocket 4K for a long time to come, they both will be. And um, let's go through the unboxing and get a first look at my first clip and analyze a little bit right here and there. And we'll be done for today coming up. If you look at the resolution, if you look like the dynamics, it really looks like what Matteo Bertoli said. Bertoli? Matteo Bertoli. Bertoli. I keep messing up his name. I'm sorry. He said he suspects that the Blackmagic Pocket 6K has a lot more dynamic range than 13 stops because it is able to compete, you know, to, to match in there with, with the Reds, with Alexa uh, Mini. If you're, if you're not told, you wouldn't know that there was a different camera. It was The picture looked so on point. The ground is shaking again. Maybe I should leave California someday. It's, it's frightening. It's terrible. I could, I could hear the particles of the lens, the inside particles of the lens vibrating to that, to the earthquake, or whatever is quaking. All right, so this is case awesome. Um, tests that I've done already showed it is, it's, I could tell the difference between 4K and 6K immediately. For the first time ever, I saw dynamic range. That's why I doubt if it is the same dynamic rate with the 4K. If you said Pocket 4K is, six, is, is 13 stops, yeah, I could believe that. But why is the 6K so much better than the 4K? I could see. I could see it like 3D, you know, I could see the images. When I turned it on, I could tell because I'd, I'd used the 4K for so long, I could, I could just see, you know, I was expecting to see the same thing and with my eyes, but get better results on the computer. No, I saw it with my eyes. The dynamic on the, on the camera was great. It's, it's mind blowing. I was like, man, I should have done this long ago, you know? I really wanted to have, have the Pocket 4K and 6K, so I, I thought I would ha add to it either the 6K or the Red Komodo and all that, but I'm happy I, I got the 6K anyway, instead of just waiting. So, I haven't tried it with this lens yet. I'm gonna get this mount ready, either get a PL mount, for the camera or get this one off and uh, convert it to EF lenses so I can use it uh, on camera B maybe if I do need to and you already know the black magic pocket cinema 6k so it's okay if you don't see it okay that's what we're recording on and um, Along with this guy, it's going to be my main setup for Run and Gone documentary and um, music videos and short films and stuff like that. Yeah, so watch out for stuff. Watch out for content um, as I do my test and do my project. 
I'll share with you guys my learning experience so far. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and um, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Uh, make sure I look for an offer for the same price. You know, some marketers do promotions, so. All right, I'll take it. So we have two batteries. Now, this also comes with it, a 64 gig, 200 megabytes per second, 64 card. Got this on Amazon. It's funny. The amount I paid for the 4K is still higher than what I'm paying for the 6K. Because <laughs> I was desperate. I didn't see the 6K coming. Long overdue, but it's here. Okay. Okay, that's yeah, good. You didn't even need that. Okay. Unlike the other one, that was gold. This is black. Now I gave out my DaVinci Resolve package along with the camera. I think that's how it should be done. Unless you're not going into uh, the same system, you might want to keep it and then sell your camera for less. But I gave it all up because I know I was going to get this. All right, here's my old friend. We're back together again. And of course, a battery came with it. So now I'm rich in this mini batteries. And this is the only thing I've not seen before, a strap. Okay, I don't know where that goes. Is it for a bag or for the camera? You're gonna be starting work immediately. And we are here. Okay, I think I have a battery charge somewhere. Okay, so we'll put this aside. And just like the old times, we have the, same, the camera here only with a bigger mount. Looking heavy, looking well fed. Oh, it's happening, my God. You know, it's funny, it feels smaller than the 4K <laughs> because it looks like it's got a punch on this grip. I wish I had the two to test, but you know, the form factor just feels different. It feels, the grip feels a little bit more. I know it's the same thing, but it just feels like it's not exactly, feels like this is a little bit shorter, like in terms of width shorter and more compact you know i feel like the 4k was this wide that's how i feel this is looking like wow this is looking like it's smaller let's take a look at its sensor at the lens and turn push and turn Woo -wee. Mm. Black Magic Design. Yeah, I'm a proud customer. 